Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with FB of EPAM and we're talking about the hype versus reality of robo-advice. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, will all of the next generation's wealth be managed by robo-advisors? I highly doubt that. I think all is a, you know, it's a really huge term. Uh, it's going to be always a combination between robo-advisory, which by the way, to even today, large wealth management firms already employ uh, algorithmics to manage your wealth. So there's not so much difference between algorithms and robo-advisory uh, or robo-wealth management. So it's going to be a combination between something which is uh, automatic, uh, use your board robotics or you automate that process and there's going to be another piece which is going to be advisory and you're going to float between those sometimes you want to have the human touch you want to call somebody up or but most of the cases all manual process can be automated and will be automated so I believe uh, for example a portfolio rebalancing against a certain target will be done by uh, automated processes or web advisory, but when you would like to change your portfolio makeup or you change your asset allocations, that's when you're going to turn to advisory. So the combination of two will be the most powerful way to go forward. Do we know yet how far Robo can meet the needs of sophisticated investors with global portfolios? At this point of time, already banks, as I said before, employ these technologies to assess tax issues, assess cross-jurisdictional you know, problems. The really advanced uh, investors are investing into products which are very hard uh, to manage by robo advisory today because the whole process to mark to market is a really complicated process for uh, rarely traded or infrequently traded uh, asset classes or investments. This is the places where robo advisory will be not so helpful because they don't have the, the track record or they don't or don't have the uh, the uh, or the flow or liquidity in these asset classes, which would allow the robo-advisors to really take uh, advantage. So it's, a human, it's going to be still a human process. On the other hand, there are certain aspects of uh, uh, certain parts of the ultra-high networks will be already, already today managed by robo-advisory using some sort of algo trading, as I men mentioned before. For an incumbent wealth management firm or a private bank, what's the smart approach to getting the best out of robo? The best way to ad use the robo-advisory is to help the advisors. To use robo-advisory technologies to create opportunities or actually create suggestions to the advisor community what to talk with the customer about, right? It's most, most advisors are just not talking to their customers. So if you have a platform in place which is listening to market news, market events, and based on that, uh, it starts generating trading ideas and trading suggestions which the, the advisor can talk about with their customer base or prepare the, the documentation which allows you to really explain uh, why this trade is good for you. That's where the, the real value can be generated and operational efficiency can be achieved by this because you're going to target the right customers with the right message. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.